Hello, Pisces. It looks like we have a conscious connection, a hell of a soul bond that came in, but was it actually recognized? Let's dig in to see where this goes. Hello everyone, welcome in. This is a Pisces Tarot reading. It's a general reading, usually between two energies. But I've noticed that this week has had a lot of third and even fourth energies. So, we'll be open to whatever comes in. In the meantime, let's see what the theme is for today's reading. 34, from fear to fuel. Still getting used to the camera there. Reduces to seven. Stand still and own your power. Hmm. I feel like this is about stating a boundary. Show me what the complementing energy is for from fear to fuel, please. Number 35, that's 34, 35, conscious connections. Hmm. Significant soul bond energy. Is that what we're dealing with, Pisces? This deck. Show me what's going on with Pisces, please. Hmm. I have a feeling someone has never encountered a connection quite like this before. And significant soul bonds, they, they can be like, whoa, when you come across them because you think there's, there's no way anything like that exists. And you, you think you know closely connected, you know, relationships and stuff until you're hit with a soul bond, a really deep one. And then it's like nothing you've ever experienced for sure. Let's see where we're going here. Yep. Surprise. Tower on the bottom. Scorpio energy. Your water cousin. Seven of swords. Eight of Pentacles, Ten of Cups, Temperance card of Sag, Two of Swords, Ten of Pentacles, Seven of Cups. Mm. So there is really no word between you. Ah. Uh huh. <laughs> So, it looks to me, Pisces, that I, I'm getting you as the masculine and them as the feminine. I'm reading this side is you, this is your person, this is a situation. And silence and secrets between you. Okay. Or silence after secrets. So the best tens on the board, but it looks like you already had a ten of pentacles and the ten of cups showed up after you had the ten of pentacles with someone. I'm getting like it, that it's a queen of cups underneath here and you're coming up as the king of cups. And either you knew deep down that this was a legit two of cups, ten of cups, because it's, it's right there. You, It looks like you really fought to resist it as much as humanly possible and when she got hit with it she put her big girl pants on and lit that tower on fire and said screw this I'm not letting fear overcome me because the strength card beats the devil and she cut this all the way out root and stem okay from fear to fuel, this person really revitalized your energy. And you probably know that after the fact now. So it looks like you two actually worked really well together. You could have actually been co-workers or boss uh, employee kind of dynamic. I'm getting more for that. Um, 
and you were just so nonchalant about not giving this person the attention that the Ten of Cups deserves. So once confusion started to kind of take root in her, she just wasn't having it. She just wasn't having it. She put her big girl pants on and she blew this sucker up. Can't knock her for that. I'd do the same thing. I've done the same thing. Okay. So let's get into the Seven of Swords. This situation of silence and secrets. Mm hmm. The world king of swords. Aquarius energy. Magician. Eight of swords. Ah, okay. Death card of swords. Scorpio, eight of cups. That wants to come out too. The hermit card of Virgo. So you didn't see this coming of her slamming the door on this. Okay. Despite any mental chatter kind of thing, she cut through it. There's something here that told her the only win she will get in life in this specific situation is cutting this out. That's the only win. She's not going to get the win that she wants, which is the Ten of Cups that was just naturally there. It just naturally existed on its own there. Without you guys being married without you guys being officially in a relationship there's something about this connection where this was just there all you had to do is reach out and grab it that's it that's it but it looks like you couldn't be bothered just pouring that cup out focusing on work and this ten building this ten of pentacles so they cut this out and then they withdrew their energy Show me the Eight of Pentacles, please. Four of Cups, Five of Wands, Six of Pentacles, Prince of Wands, Six of Pentacles. You can't, you can't blame other people getting in the way. Other people can only get in the way if you allow them to get in the way. Okay? You could have seen this as perhaps this person was only a temptation. Okay? Um, but, and you won't, because you only gave so little to it. You still watch them though. You try to play it like it's nonchalant, but you still watch them though. Show me temperance. Card of sad. Show me temperance, please. Yeah, you poured out the cup of the lovers and it actually broke your own heart. Yeah, that's just sad. That is just sad. So we have Sagittarius, Gemini, Leo right there. Okay. Pouring out the cup of the lover's connection with the sun. Ooh, ooh. I don't wish that on anybody. Show me the Ten of Pentacles, this thing that you were cool with keeping instead of the Ten of Cups, Lovers, and the Sun. Hierophant, could be married. Three of Wands. Seven of Wands, High Priestess. Uh-huh. I know. <laughs> of course it is. Um, <laughs> sorry my last reading of the day um so i'm, I'm kind of short-tempered with um everyone's knee-jerk reactions um three of wands ten, seven of wands it's the ten of wands staring straight at the fact that this connection that you're in is a burden but not willing to assess it for any situation because for any reasons because it is comfortable or it is already official in the marriage contract realm um, you know, okay, you're, you're very aware of this person. Um, there's reflection on the past that they really, really, they really were a wish come true and that they are in fact a loss. There's regret on how you treated this person and you do want to start over to heal, to begin again. Okay. Star card of Aquarius. 
Ah, let's see what's going on with this person. Ten of Cups again, Ace of Swords. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Show me the Ten of Cups on the board, please. Let's expand there first. Mm hmm. One more. Y'all really could have been co workers. You both have the Eight of Coins now with the Three of Coins. There's that terror again. So she exited or moved while you weren't looking, while you were paying attention to your Ten of Pentacles. Um, this Ten of Cups, they went straight for it. Straight for it. And they got hurt. They got hurt pretty good. They got hurt pretty good. Card of Capricorn there with the devil. Uh, and there's a lot of secret feelings, musings, and whatnot that they let be hidden or disguised in their job. Or whatever it is that you did around or with each other. That puts you in each other's environment semi-frequently. Yeah. Four of Cups, Tower again. Yeah. Five of Coins. Yeah. Moving. Gone. Done. Over. Two of Swords. So swords. Two of Swords, please. Show me the Two of Swords. Uh-huh. Again with the Hermit. You have not heard from her. Again, the only win, the only win that she would have is exiting the way she did, where you didn't see it coming. Here's the thing. She's building her to the Nine of Pentacles, and the Ten of Cups is inbound to her energy. Okay. And it also might be related to work. Show me the Seven of Cups, please. Yep, confusion is over. Death card of Scorpio. Clarity on clarity about you. It's not that oh, I had the wool pull over my eyes. He wasn't who I thought I he was. Blah 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 blah. It's like, no, he was. He was legitimate soulmate and he didn't do anything. And he didn't do anything. Is there anything else we need to know about her before going on to the extended, please? Oh, okay. <laughs> Those some there is a King of Wands that's headed straight for her. And she's got a choice of new partnership to make. He's manifesting it pretty hard. Show me the palace of wands. Wanna make it real fair, balanced, and happy. Justice card of Libra, Sun, more Leo energy, making it real there with the Ace of Coins. Doesn't he, he doesn't care if we start at square one, square ten, square seven and a half. Wherever she wants to start is where he will start with her. Anything else about this guy? This King of Wands? Show me else about this King of Wands. He is inbound. Mm -hmm. Show me the Eight of Swords. Oh. So he got over his own stuff too and is starting a new cycle. And he knows that she's something significant to him. Hmm. They could be big into real estate together or acquiring real estate. Or building a bigger or nicer home. So there's something there about that. Alright you guys. I'm headed over to the extended. I'm going to see what's going on with her. I'm going to check in with her on her current energy. Near future. And the final outcome of the connection between you. In this lifetime. So if you're interested in any of that information. Along with messages from spirit. About the connection at this point in time. 
messages between you as well as timing feel free to follow me by clicking the link in the description box below and i will see you guys on over there bye Ooh.